I do mean watch day book of Jader Deus who have out there in YouTube land. This episode is going to be about Raspberry Pi fixing cannot currently show the desktop or display the desktop. <laughs> Unfortunately, all of mine are working. So I don't have one to show you specifically. Um this step, the first thing I want to say is that this step should be done before you deploy the Raspberry Pi. What I use Raspberry Pis for are SBCs, Session Border Controllers for 3CX. Um, so if I deploy it and it's already, you know, three three states away or a country away, I'm going to have to fly there or I'm going to have to ship them one that I've already fixed. But we're going to talk about the cause first. So the main cause, and I've I've left a lot of blank space on the screen, so you can so I I, I can put in text for things I forget to talk about right now. But the main the main reason why you'll get cannot currently uh, display the desktop or show the desktop is because you hook it up on a monitor. Uh, like mine, when I set them up, I'm using literally like a BenQ monitor. Um, so if you go, because I my other solution is you know go and get a, a a very old, you know get just a very simple, not necessarily old, a very simple like Dell monitor with an HDMI input, and it usually fixes itself. Like when it first sets, you know, when it first boots up. But let's say you only have the uh, the BenQ monitor like me. You got a big, you know, it's it's a gaming monitor basically, and it's you know it's huge. Or if you set it up on like one of those curved screen things, uh, there's a really simple command. I I have I've run into this. I've set up hundreds of Raspberry Pis, and I have a cheat sheet with all of the um, Pi commands that I use for my specific task, my, my, my job. I will post this in the comments too, just so, and I'll, you know, tag it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is, and I'm copying and pasting here, so you're going to run sudo space slash or dash s run that this is going to pop up root raspberry pi home pi pound okay so then you're going to want to run these three commands and i'm not actually going to run it on this pi oh i didn't hit paste i'm not actually going to run it because i don't want to mess the, this this i don't want to mess this one up <laughs> When you run this, it just comes back and it finishes with the same root at Raspberry Pi, home Pi pound, and then reboot. That will fix. Ninety percent of the time, it fixes it. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest. Every time I've used it, it fixes it. It's not ninety percent of the time. I've tried the other things. I've seen videos. I've seen, you know, uh, Pi forums and all that. Um, and they'll say, oh, just go into your you know, video, you know, you, you go up here, you go, oh, well, I'm going to go, I'm going to go to, uh, I'm gonna, come on, I'm going to go to preferences, I'm going to go to screen config, you know, and then like, oh, I'm going to configure the screen, I'm going to pick the screen, resolution, well, look at, like, they'll tell you, oh, you got to be, you know, 10, you know, 1024 by 7, you know, 68, or, well, this is 16 by 12. Um, oh, well, the frequency, I've seen people, oh, the frequency has to be right, and then, like, you know, the orientation, you have to make sure all this, and then you have to go in and change 30,000 things. Literally, the only thing I do is jump in, sudo s, and then paste that, 
hit enter, reboot, and it works. Short, simple, sweet. This video would be longer, but unfortunately, uh, that's, that's it. That's the whole thing. I'll be making another one of these videos if you want to know how to set up 3CX on a Pi, but it's, it's, it's stupidly simple. Uh, but I'll make it. Might make it a short. Well, if you've been with me this long for the short video, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Y'all have a good day.